Hey everyone, so um, I'm not recording every single day like I was hoping I would be um, just because I've been like really focused on getting my story down um, but it is day 12 of NaNoWriMo so I'm about midway through week 2 um, which <laughs> makes me feel a little bit better because like I keep looking at my workout and looking at the targets so I'm like I'm never gonna do it but I'm doing pretty well, I'm still a little bit behind like I'm not trying to get up to the right level um, that it says for the day and then go from there because I think that'll be too much and I'll burn out um, which is what this happened the last few times I've done NaNoWriMo I like get behind and then I try and rush it and I do like loads of words and then it's just like nothing for the rest of the time and it's like well that was a bit of a waste of, <laughs> of energy um, so yeah I am at about 16,000 and something words and today's target is like 19,000 and something words so um yeah, I'm not actually that far behind now. I can do that today and it won't feel like I'm overextending myself. Um, so I'll show you what I've done so far as well. Like, sorry about the camera angles. Sorry about the grease bomb that is my hair and the lack of makeup and the reflection on my glasses from the conceptual. I'll take them off because it distracts me. Um, so, um... I'm really sorry about the quality of my screen when I show you this. I'm going to just flip the camera. Um, oh, I don't know if I can do that, actually. This is my project I write in Scrivener. I find it easier just for the formatting. So I think it was chapter four was my first one. Oh, it's going to take forever. Oh, yeah. I put start a nano. So then I have done all of this since then. And then... And I'm writing it in two different parts, so I've started on the fifth one. So technically I've done, so that's 22 chapters all together and an intro. So 23 less four, so 19 chapters. But they're all quite small. I think the biggest one is like one and a half thousand words. So um, I think there's a writing for Essex Nano in a minute. And I'll be doing that. Like I did one Tuesday night, I think it was. And it was so much fun. We did something, um, I think they called it Ghostwriter. And you set your type letter, uh, colour to the same as your background colour. And then you just wrote blind. And it was like um, in six minutes who had the least mistakes. And I think I had like three. So I got the ghostwriter um, like title. But it was so much fun as well. Because you just got to focus on the story. And like you didn't really look at the screen so much. I don't tend to anyway. I, I don't know how to explain like the mood I get into when I'm really into a scene. Oh, hello, puppy. This is this cat. Um, yeah, but like, I kind of just see things and I'm just kind of like writing things as I see them. Like, I don't know if you were writing a movie as you were watching it, but it went at your pace. That's kind of how I get in the mindset when I'm writing. So I don't, I don't even know what I'm looking at when I'm writing. I could, I can honestly watch a TV show and write my story and like maybe one or two words in the script would slip into my writing, but other than that it, it's what's going on in my head <laughs> I don't yeah um so anyway I have been cheeky today ah oh, and um or Uber Eats Costa it's the Terry's chocolate orange one and it smells so good um if you order in store you get a, a little mini sexation Terry's chocolate orange um but that wasn't on my order eats so, like Uber Eats order some reason i think it's because it has to travel that was really nice and also terry's chocolate orange muffin see look segment of orange it's gonna be so good um their their christmas range which is what that's from looks so good right now <laughs> they've got like um after eight mint stuff i'm looking forward to having some nice stuff to eat and drink while i do this um one of the girls on the uh no no i think it's a girl I'm not really paying attention to names, um, but she said like she invented this thing called. I'm saying she. Sorry if you're not. Um, it's called the hot top, hot drink challenge, where you get a hot drink like a tea, hot coffee, whatever, and you from your first sip to your last, you count the words, and um, you know you have to keep drinking as you're writing, but I think it's like sip type, sip type, um. And she said that one's really taken off. So that'll be an interesting one if we end up doing that. I find like writing sprints are really helping me as well. Because like you are just focused on your writing for 20 minutes or 
like help with along like 15 20 30 is the standard that we do i find like 20 minutes is enough for me because it holds my attention it gets me into the scene um i can carry on from there but um yeah it, like i could probably do 25 and i'd be fine but then 30 i start to flag a little bit 15 it's not enough for me to get really into the scene <sighs> yeah doing sprints like that um i find i do like 600 words or something roughly i did 743 in last night's one so uh, i think my words per minute is averaging like 29 or something at the moment so that's pretty good uh, so yeah i'm gonna join the nano uh writing thing it's a virtual one i would have loved to have done some like in-person ones because it's always fun to like meet other local writers um but yeah we'll see um i know like usually people do it in their little areas because like some people are up another end and it takes like an hour to get there and it's like that's an hour i could be writing um i don't mind going to the one like in the middle of the county in chelmsford um just because it's a reasonable distance and like you're more likely to get a full range of people but they haven't done those for a while uh, we used to meet in the BHS cafe and BHS went into liquidation and have gone now so that kind of <laughs> ruined our buzz um but yeah it, it's fine like lockdown's lockdown and actually it's helping just concentrate on the story like I still have moments where I sit down to a blank page and I'm like I don't know where we're going from here and then I do the sprint and I'm like actually no I know where we're going and it's kind of I'm paying attention more to um what the characters are telling me so I'm feeling better about it I mean it's the storyline I wanted and I'm seeing how it parallels to the story that influenced me um not not that I want to do like a code fic of it but like I guess like you can see where the inspiration came from if that makes sense um we'll see um I don't know how it's actually going to read out though I'm trying not to like do that too much because like sometimes I'll like read a chapter or two just to get where I was to see where I'm going but I haven't done that too much this time around so it might be really disjointed I know like I jump from section one to section two because it's going to be in like two or three parts um because I, I kind of ran out of steam in the first section and the third one just has kind of taken off so I'll stick with what I've got and then I'll just do patchwork in the editing but that's like for after November um oh god I've took a long time haven't I and I haven't actually started writing so I'm gonna go and get doing that and I will see you next time I update back again on the same day oh my god i'm actually keeping up um so the discord group for the local nano writers we just had a write-in from like 11 to it was supposed to be like 1 30 but we went till 2 um yeah i think it went really well we had a few sprints we did a couple of like q and a's with our qu uh, characters which was really fun because like sometimes you don't think about things and like those questions really make you think about the person you're writing um and I've got a couple of, well, I've got one really key scene I really liked. Um, we did a couple of writing prompts and stuff. My goal today was just meet the uh, the line that they set for um, daily writes because I was a bit behind, like I've said. Because um, you're supposed to do uh, 1,667 a day. So last eight days I've been writing in a row. Um, I have been doing like 2,000 words most days i think there was one yeah there's one day where i've done just under a thousand and one where i did just over two thousand and every other day is like two and a half three so today i have done i'll put the slide in uh 2937 so i'm my total for the month so far on the 12th is 19,591 words which is great because i didn't think i'd even get like five grand but yeah five thousand out of this project so um yeah i i'm so close to 20 grand 20 000 words that i might just um just do that but i'll probably do it a bit later i don't want to burn myself out like i said so um hopefully tomorrow i'll be like yeah i'm at like 2200 or whatever and just carrying on from now i'd love to be 
like the total before we get to the 30th because then I can just like chill out and like I think I need to go back there because I said I was writing in different parts I kind of stopped at a certain point with part one and I went straight to part two and there is a bit of information I think I need to put in there because like I, I started to put a storyline in and then I was like I'm not sure where I'm going with this yet so I've left it which is not like me I usually write chronologically so jumping back in is going to be fun but we'll see um so yeah I'll keep you updated for the rest of the week see you for now bye hey so I barely recorded them um, in week two <laughs> um just because like I yeah I just didn't um it's now officially week three so it's the 16th today um and today's target overall for NaNoWriMo is make sure I put it on yeah uh 25,808 words they uh they work it all out for you on this graph and I am currently at 27,604 words so my target for the day was 27.5 thousand um so I'm a little bit over now it's been a real struggle actually um just because I feel like I'm connecting the scene but I don't actually remember where I was going <laughs> um but I've done a few sprints with a I think a couple of people on the nano group so that's really helped like sprints I, I can't remember if I said what they were like but you, you know you set a time limit and then you just write but um one one of the sprints I don't know if you can see I've got like this scarring on my finger um yeah my cat got in the room with my sister's cat and he he gets so jealous he's only a little kitten and he thinks we're all spending time with her and not him so he's prowling around and I'm trying to get him up for a cuddle um and then he went under this sofa bed that my sister and her husband are using and I was trying to get him out and I was like hey no no hey Oreo hey and he just like completely scratched my finger up and then I managed to get him out a couple of minutes later but yeah <laughs> it's uh it's been stinging and I I kind of missed an entire sprint because of that um but yeah I'll show you if I can I have no idea what is actually on the screen right now but this is like the overall progress chart so you know you get your individual days and this blue line is like how much you should be writing every single day this was, I think this was a day off I had. This was a day off I had and I just wasn't doing well. Uh, these two days were us shutting up the shop. And then after that, uh, pretty much consistently done over 2,000 words a day. So I'm doing pretty well. Um, or like up here. I don't know if I'm showing the right thing. No idea. Um every time you log the words you've done so these like 20 minute increments it will update it for you i thought that was pretty pretty cool setup um so yeah um i've said before this story was kind of influenced by billy and me by giovanna fletcher and i've kind of i wasn't gonna like borrow themes or anything but i think they've just kind of come out naturally um so We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and sort out my finger because it's stinging. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so I've just went on to the sprint bit. It starts in two minutes, so I've got two minutes to chat really quick. So, um, I haven't written for about a year, really, not including, like, the sequel I was doing for um, my first novel that has gone absolutely nowhere. Um, and I think I kind of got in my own head a bit, and I keep feeling like I'm about to do that with this story as well. So I keep going up for the, spr the sprints as well to try and stop that happening because I'm an overthinker and when I overthink it makes it really hard to just get stuff down um 
I better delete that. Um, sorry, <laughs> it was just like the number count for the last session we did. Anyway, um, so yeah, sometimes when I write fanfics though, I go in with an idea of a story and I just write it and I know where I'm going and I know what I want to happen and I just let it happen. It might not happen where I think it should, but like I'll get the flow going and I don't usually, well, I didn't do that with um, my last story, but it seems to be working with this one. So I don't know if I just need to like plan <laughs> less and make sure like, the story flows and like I know the characters before I start I think because I am a character driven writer so I think that is my issue um but yeah it's like I'm I'm really impressed with what I've managed to do so far because like I think since I won in 2013 I've managed to do maybe as much as I've done so far throughout the whole of the month if not less so yeah I'm fingers crossed I'm actually gonna like finish and finish early and then I can concentrate on like studying, which I have been putting off. I've been putting so many things off, but I don't think that um, I'm going back to work on December 2nd. So I'll probably have lots of time to study once, you know, Nano's finished and I can finish off this story properly and um, yeah, go from there and just have the writer bot come up saying that the sprint has started. So I'm going to go. Okay, so I'm back with really greasy hair you'll see in a minute. And um my current record for the day so as you can see i've done more words than i needed to today i think it will say like the percentage yeah it's flushed up ah, i've lost it again 109 percent, yeah and i'm at 62 percent of my story which is amazing um because i didn't think i'd get anywhere near this far um so my timeline is going up very nicely i am the dark blue line i think it's blue and that's you know it's a uh, today the 17th maybe you should say in a second wait is the 17th yeah sorry so i should be at twenty-seven thousand words and i'm at 31 so i am hoping i will pass this maybe the 25th hopefully if i carry on the trajectory i'm on so get more of my stats still doing better at four till five that tends to be when more people are on the nano group ready to do sprints we just had some this morning um so that's been fun my average per day i'm still working on getting that up it's because like when i do a sprint my average is like 33 words or something and then in between i'll just like type a little bit and then lose track of how long i've been doing it and then i'll be like um <laughs> okay uh it was like 10 minutes and it probably wasn't because it was like on and off um all of this information, by the way, when you go to this little icon, you press plus and you put it in. So that's the story I'm doing. That's the project. Um, so you type in the amount of words. Uh, I don't know, if I said five, six, six, then you pick a smiley. I'm not actually going to submit this. I'll cancel it afterwards. And where are you writing? I got really sarky at one point. So the, those four there at home, the office, library and the cafe, standard ones and i was having an issue um when it just changed over to this format and i wrote that <laughs> um because i think i'm so funny it's so well how you were writing i love that it says on a typewriter i think some people do it for the aesthetic and then you just type in the times you did it which is where i'm getting thrown and then you submit and then it'll go on that wheel and on that wheel Hey, yeah, so it's um, about half seven-ish on the 21st and I realise I haven't done any updating whatsoever and I haven't really done book reviews or anything. Um, frankly, it's because I've actually just been really pummeling this story. Um, I'm currently at like 1,400 or something words from the 50k goal and my brain feels like mush. We've been doing a marathon today in the group that i'm in the discord group for essex nano and my brain is just like can we stop now and it's like but we're so close we are so close so um yeah i've been doing like five thousand words a day or something like that so it, it's been going really well um i've been trying to stop myself doing my usual habits so i'm shaking the bone a little bit yeah so my usual habits would be like um 
I'm not doing any better with the phone. Sorry, it's wiggling like crazy. Yeah, um, usually I kind of read the last few chapters and I haven't done that this time. I've just basically gone for it. <laughs> like, um, so I don't know how it sits together. I know there's things I've got to research. There are things in the early bit where I haven't put names. Actually, there's a bit I have to go to because I haven't finished all of the early stuff. I've kind of put in three sections and the end of the first one needs doing still. So, yeah. So I've got, I've got stuff to write to make myself get to the, uh, the 50,000. It's just that final hurdle to get to it. So, yeah. Um, that's what I've been doing. Just writing non-stop, really. And also, like I've said, like my house is rammed at the moment. So, writing alone is not an option. <laughs> so, yeah. I am... Um, I'm in my room, my sister's um, husband, he's doing a Zoom call at the moment, so we all kind of cleared out to give him privacy. And so I'm hoping being in my room without any distractions means I can just crack on with the last chapter and then go back to the last couple of bits in the first section. And then, you know, hopefully I've won. No, no. So I will see you once I've finished, I think. Bye. Hey, everyone. Um, as you can see, I've started getting ready for Christmas. Um, I saw this garland on the Black Friday deals and I thought it was really cute. Um, anyway, so it's the 24th, I think, and I actually finished Nano three days ago. Um, I've got one more chapter to write. They're usually about one to 2,000 words long, so it's not huge. And then I would have finished the story as well. So I'm actually really excited about that. I did it in like two weeks, really. I written like 1600 words before Nano. I did 2400 while I was still at work because lockdown happened on the 25th and then um not the 25th the 5th of November sorry it's been a long month um yeah and then I think I had one day where I didn't write and then like the rest I, I just basically did like <laughs> 50,000 words in two weeks uh maybe just shy of that so yeah it's uh it's been an experience, it's something I'm not used to. I'm used to like spending years going over and over it and I'm kind of afraid to go to it now and read it through and see how it all looks. I was actually reading through the chapter before the one I want to put in last night and I was like, oh, actually I've written a lot of what I wanted so it's only like a really small amount. Um, sorry for the shaky camera work by the way, like I'm holding it rather than using my ring light. Um, so yeah, I finished it. Um, I wanted to update the last couple of days but my son's actually been home his school has got quite a few covid cases and um yeah they're doing like shared rotated classes now so the last two days he was supposed to be on teams getting his school work but it didn't work the first day and it only worked yesterday so um yeah and yesterday one of his lessons was pe so he's had a pretty good day yesterday um but it meant he was using my laptop and I was focused on getting him working because I thought if I came up and like started talking he'd just skive off to be honest with you because he's 13 so <laughs> he's gonna be watching it's like mum you sold me out um so yeah I finished Nano and I finished it like with nine days to go which is insane um but I'm still on like the Nano group I want to like oh, sorry I mean yeah I want to support everyone else who's still doing it and I still need to finish that chapter, so I'll still be doing, like, writings and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm currently reading Lucy Foley's The Guest List. I, was, I started reading Obama's, um, autobi like, not autobiography, but, like, his memoirs from his time in the White House. But it's quite dense, and because I've just, like, brain power my way through a 50,000 word story. I think it's going to sit somewhere like 60 by the time I'm done. Um yeah, it was just a bit too intense for me. So when uh, Paulina was like, oh, yeah, I need to read the guest list. I was like, yeah, that's a better story. So and it's really well written. And actually, like, um, family history time, like, my family, like, great, great, grand grandparents or something, they're from Galway. And this is set in an island just off of Galway. Like, they've fictionalised it a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting reading it. Like, that's kind of where my great, great, great grandma was from i'm not sure i'd have to check that again <laughs> i think i'm like an eight irish or something so yeah um 
but I just wanted to conclude the video by talking about the fact that I won and I won early and I've just been like lazing about for three days and yeah so thank you for watching sorry like this vlog turned into like just two um videos and I haven't updated properly but like I've been neglecting a lot of things because this story has just been like let's tell me now <laughs> so yeah I've got to like sort my stuff out um so yeah I'm I'm gonna finish off that story today I think because my son's gone in school his year group and the year group below are the only two I think or like there's uh, there's four year groups they've like limited um and he goes in an hour later as well so it's like hardly any kids going in when he went in um I say hardly any like massive year groups but still so yeah um thanks for watching and I'll be back on my regular regularly scheduled programming soon maybe who knows I'm very inconsistent see ya